Why haven't humans been back to the moon in the last 50 years? The last human footprint was left on the moon in 1972. Pause for a moment and let that sink in. That year, the Apollo 17 mission carried out its historical voyage, marking the end of an era. It was the last of its kind, the final mission that would leave a human trace on the lunar surface. But what happened after that? Why did we stop? After 1972, the moon remained untouched by human feet, but why? Stay tuned as we delve into this intriguing mystery. In the years following the last moon landing, priorities shifted. As the dust settled from the Apollo missions, the zeal for lunar conquest began to wane. The world turned its gaze from the moon not to abandon space exploration, but to embrace new objectives. The Space Shuttle program, a marvel of engineering and international cooperation, took center stage. The aim was no longer to leave footprints on the moon, but to build bridges between nations in the form of the International Space Station. This shift in focus was not a simple change of heart. Financial realities played a critical role. The cost of space exploration is astronomical, pardon the pun, and the resources required to maintain a lunar program were redirected towards more immediate and collaborative projects. Budget constraints are a harsh reality, even in the seemingly limitless field of space exploration. Over time, the moon, once the symbol of mankind's greatest achievement, began to feel like a distant memory. The world was caught up in the whirlwind of technological advancements and international collaborations. The moon was no longer the final frontier. The excitement of the unknown was replaced with the promise of collaborative progress, and the allure of the moon was overshadowed by the glittering possibilities of the cosmos beyond. Yet, even as priorities shifted and budgets tightened, the moon remained in our sights, a silent reminder of past triumphs and future possibilities. The moon was no longer the final frontier, and financial constraints narrowed the scope of space exploration. But as we'll see, the story doesn't end here. As we move further into the 21st century, technology advanced. Innovations in robotics, artificial intelligence, and space technology have reshaped the landscape of space exploration. Rather than risking human lives on perilous missions, we now send sophisticated machines to do the exploration for us. Robotic rovers roam the surfaces of Mars, and automated spacecraft probe the furthest reaches of our solar system. They gather data, take images, and carry out experiments that not so long ago we could only dream of. Artificial intelligence, with its ability to analyze vast amounts of data, has become an indispensable tool in our quest to understand the cosmos. But it's not just about exploration. Technological advancements have also made it possible to utilize space in ways that benefit us here on Earth. Satellites, for example, play a crucial role in everything from weather forecasting to global communications. Yet even with these leaps in technology, our curiosity and desire to set foot on the moon again remain undiminished. The moon continues to captivate us, and the dream of returning there is still very much alive. With advanced technology, the need to send humans to the moon is less pressing, but the desire remains. Now, after 50 years, NASA is preparing to return to the moon. As the dawn of a new era in space exploration approaches, the lunar surface is once again in the crosshairs of humanity's insatiable curiosity. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, is about to witness the footprints of astronauts once more, signifying a renewed focus on lunar exploration. The Artemis program, NASA's ambitious endeavor, aims to return humans to the moon by the late 20s. But this time we're not just visiting, the mission is to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon, paving the way for further space exploration, including the long-awaited voyage to Mars. Yet, as we set our sights on the moon again, a host of challenges await. The mission isn't as simple as hopping on a rocket and taking a joyride to the moon. The lunar environment is harsh and unforgiving. From extreme temperatures to the lack of atmosphere and the omnipresent lunar dust, every element presents a unique challenge. But NASA is undeterred. Innovations and advancements in technology are opening new possibilities. Advanced spacesuits are being designed to withstand the brutal lunar conditions. New landing systems are being developed to ensure safe touchdown and takeoff and perhaps most importantly plans for using lunar resources, like water ice at the moon's poles, are being devised to support sustainable human habitation. These efforts mark a shift in how we approach lunar exploration. It's no longer about just planting a flag and leaving footprints. It's about learning to live and work on another world. 
about understanding the moon's secrets and using that knowledge to propel us further into the cosmos. The moon, once viewed as a final frontier, is now seen as a launch pad, a stepping stone to the mysteries that lie beyond. As we prepare to return, we're not just revisiting an old destination but embarking on a new journey, one that holds the promise of untold discoveries and unprecedented achievements. The moon, once again, represents a stepping stone to the greater cosmos, a symbol of humanity's never-ending quest to explore the unknown.